Greetings, y'all. It's your Nock Piermana, and welcome back to another Golf Stories podcast. Of course, joined here by PGA Tour caddy, Daryl Adden. Daryl, episode 36. What's up, dude? <laughs> I surprised, I su- I'm I surprised every week that we do this thing. Yeah. It's, it's, well, I'm always going to say it because it's it just wasn't expected. Mm hmm. 36. But we're here. 10, you know, <laughs> we're here. Yeah. Just keep going and uh, keep going strong. Uh, how's your week going, by the way? You been playing any golf? I, I think I saw so, you in the story. Today, today, I just practiced. I could have played today, but I much needed practice. I haven't, I haven't practiced my chipping, and I couldn't tell you how long. And it was much needed. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 nice. yeah. It's, it's. I mean, the sunshine tax, of course. When yeah, of course. When we're paying the sunshine tax, and uh, you know, I just, I always play. And I, if, if you know me, I don't really get to the golf course early on play days. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much safe. Our tea time's 10 o'clock. I'm there probably (laughs) nine 20 or no, 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 nine 40. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, about 20, I said 20 cause I normally 20 minutes before my tea time. (laughs) So I'm 20 minutes and I'm really there to just putt. Yeah. And I'm ready to go. Yeah. And most of the time, I don't like hitting my driver because, for me, I think it's my worst club. I just don't want to know where it goes. <laughs> so yeah. I like, I, I low key like the surprise on the first tee. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that. I, yeah, I can't really, other than tournament rounds, the last time I like hit golf balls before going out there to play. It's a, and usually it does take a few holes to, to crack the bones, you know, and get get in a rhythm. Yeah. At, at at the end of the day, I think it's way more helpful to hit the range, especially on the earlier tee times. Yeah, I think if your tee times like one or two, then I think you you're you're able to get away with it. Yeah, but when it's those eight, nine, ten, like mm-hmm. you, it's nice to hit a couple of walls. Yeah, it'd behoove you to you know actually roll out of bed and a little early just to go hit some because I mean I tell you what, the bo- once you get older, especially the body just keeps getting sore and sore as you wake up. So. Uh, yeah, for those weekend golfers out there, little tips for y'all. Uh, weather's finally nice over here. We we actually didn't get to play much, been busy, but uh, I do have a, a scramble coming up on Friday. Another ringer oh, alert. Get it, ringer get it, alert. get it. Yeah, so uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, weather's looking looking nice for Friday. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to it. Game is, I think, is in good shape. It's like riding a bike. You know, I, I really feel like that. I feel like my swing is just, it's just ready on a moment's notice. Just uh, put me in, coach. You know. Let's let's go. It's always <laughs> exciting. Uh, again, I was basically on three week stretch, mm-hmm. and watching guys play golf and you know working, uh, dying. So like today was a much needed practice session. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, that's probably like the worst because you. That's when you really have the itch when you see some like these guys oh. striping and you're like, oh, look at this pure course. They're striping. Oh, it, yeah, it's. I mean, pro V's on the driving range. Oh, like, come gosh. on, <laughs> just the forbidden fruit, you know. <laughs> yeah, pro V's on the driving range. Like, let's be real here. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. Well, speaking of, you have been on the the road for for three weeks, and uh, most recently at the Sanderson's Farm in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, your boy, Mac Mackenzie Mac Hughes. Hughes. Mackenzie Hughes. That. <sighs> You know what? Happy for the guy. Mm-hmm. I'm just surprised. Honestly, he's put in a lot of hard work. You know, yeah. you see it. And he's very driven, always hardworking. That, that's never changed. Um, glad for him to finally get over the hump and get number two. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, he's, been, he's been knocking plenty of times. And I think just getting number two is just going to open more floodgates. for. The, and again, well-deserved. Yes, indeed. Yes. For audience members that don't know, Daryl. Very close friend with Mac and, and of course, caddy for him on his first uh, W there in uh, RSM. So mm-hmm. uh, it's, he's a friend of the pod, I guess you would say, for sure. Oh, he's he's great. He's great. You know, we become great friends. And again, you never forget all the, the memories that I had with him for a couple of years caddying for him and great memories. And again, so the, the, the joke mm-hmm. is now he only wins in playoffs because the, the first is. one was playoff. This one was playoff. So he's 2-0 and in playoffs, guys. Yeah. In the south too, like it's just in the fall. Yeah, in the fall, like this is yeah, this is good to see. 
good pattern to build. I mean, hey, wins wins, man. And uh, he beat out Sepp Straka, who was on the tip of the tongue. I didn't pick him last week, but great showing for him again. That's his his second playoff loss, but uh, has a win, of course, yeah. this year. Been playing good. I mean, other than that random stretch, uh, that was bad. Um, any any thoughts on uh, on Sepp or any of the contenders? Garrett Kigo was one shot out of the playoff. Um, you know Keegan. what? I actually, I actually watched a lot of it on Sunday. To be honest with you, I was, I caddied on Sunday, mm-hmm. and I couldn't get out of Jackson till Monday. Mm-hmm. I tried so hard. Uh, if we were going to Vegas, would have been easier. Yeah, but uh, where I was going, <laughs> it was definitely hard. So I was forced to stay there till Monday morning, and I, I got to watch a lot of it. And uh, big ups to Ma- Mac did. He did yeah. what he needed to do, but you know, Higo was Higo was there. The 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 biggest one that was I don't know what the word I'd use, uh, but I watched it live as my boy Grio. Uh, my boy yeah. Grio made an eight on fourteen and I watched it live. Tough to see because I'm I mean we played with Hayden Buckley that day mm-hmm. and he eagled that thing. So oh, for, you know, when you make a three there mm. and somebody makes an eight, that's so I put him out of the tournament there. And he was yeah. even Saturday. I watched it Saturday, Saturday, the coverage. Yeah. Uh, he had a lot of putts at birdie to not yeah. go in. So he, he was on point. I think honestly, he was probably the best player to, to not win it yeah yeah to to not make the move that we thought he was gonna make a move and higo too i think it was saturday he made double yeah. on 12 from the middle of the fairway airmail the green and uh definitely you know wasn't able to chase then i guess mm-hmm. so again big ups to mac to yeah. take care of business and uh yeah. you know way to go well deserved too Yes, indeed. A little motivation from maybe not making the President's Cup. Him and, for and sure, Grigo. for sure, yeah, I'm sure. You know, and Grillo, I guess, too, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. All those guys are very, plenty capable to get on a team. And, you know, yeah, Grillo, yeah, just that Latin fire, man, just burns a little too too hot sometimes with him. But, I mean, you wasn't it him that just cut, tossed his club and ended up being. Yes. You know, so, gosh, I mean, you know, he's so talented. And, uh, he- the frustration, the frustration, because even my guy was very frustrated. Mm-hmm. The frustration, it's good and bad. It's good, really, because they know they're playing better than they are, mm-hmm. and nothing's just happening. Mm-hmm. So that's where a lot of the frustration, knowing what I know now about pro golfers, mm-hmm. and it's just bad because because you're playing so well, you shouldn't let it get to you. You should mm-hmm. almost be like, "Hey, I'm playing well. It's all good." Like, yeah, I'm having bad breaks. But if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'll be all right. So yeah. however you want to look at it, that's my my take on it all. It's all perspective, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, that that's the thing because you know they're so capable of so much. And uh, yeah, Grillo, Hughes, of course, Straka now is coming to his own. I mean, Higo, all these guys have a win. Uh, and they just need it. They're trying to validate it just like McKenzie right. did uh, this week. I mean. It's, it, and that's, you know, I guess that's a mental battle, really, more than anything, because, uh, you know, they all are physically and technically capable. And, you know, like you were saying, Mac has been really working on it. They were talking about in the coverage about, you know, really trying to build some speed, really trying to you know, improve on his his ball striking, you know, because his short game is so so solid and especially came up. Close, elite. You know, fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. I've I, I beat Mac. A co- not a lot. <laughs> but there's some times I've beat him in a. Uh, some uh short game competition so i just want to you know my little soft flex right there no i mean you definitely have to have to say it i mean he's the winner and you know he's a beast at short game that's not that's actually saying something you know oh it's it's he's he's definitely nice when it comes to that yes indeed i mean what was that he up and down 16 i think nice little par there uh and then the playoff hole in 18 has about five feet or eight feet maybe and then the last hole is birdie pose. They feed and yeah. just pumped it before he even went in. I mean, the crazy part is to really get down to it. I thought he was going to make that putt on 17, which typically mm. is cash for him. Yeah. So then he could have a little bit of leeway on the last hole. And uh, again, he just wins in playoffs. <laughs> yes, indeed. The only, 
I will say one thing. The only difference between this win and the other win is uh, when I was caddying for him, he led every day. Oh, wow. So there, there was there was not a lot of uh, chase, in a mm -hmm. sense, until the last day. Mm -hmm. The last day, a couple guys came in and then, you know, letting him into that playoff. But, yeah, he led every day wire to wire. Yeah, yeah. No, so he, he's – I mean, I know, again, the second win validates, but I've always believed that when winning wire to wire, that validates. Oh, yeah. The win. Yeah. Uh, in general, no, it's not like – <laughs> I mean, not to try to – I mean, a win is a win, but compared to, like, a Smiley Kaufman – Mm. Uh, when he shoots, I think he shot ten under or uh, nine. Yeah. Under. yeah, in Vegas. Speaking of Vegas, mm. uh, yeah. so it's you, you have a little bit of less. You could you could freewheel it yeah. when you're when you're behind compared to when you're leading every night or in contention. It's it's different, I think. Yeah, you're feeling it. You're you're in the the battle, uh, and everyone knows it too. Everyone eyeballs on you, so yeah, you, know, you have to you have to take it and run with it. And that's one thing I, I always respect uh, Mac about is. Uh, he just seems like a, a tenacious competitor, even though he hasn't had the wins, but like you can see it in his will. He loves like, the moment. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's I think again, he like won. he would have been great in president's cup yeah. because, uh, again, when a playoff is just match play situation, mm -hmm. that's yeah. what a playoff is. It's just match play. And he brings that fire. If you knowing what I know about Mac over the years, if you just put him in that situation, he's going to get it done. Yeah. He's going to rise up to the moment. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, so yeah, no, that it, it was awesome to see. It was cool. Friend of the pod, like I said. For uh, sure. How, how'd y'all do this week? How, how was the course looking, by the way? The greens, for all my years caddying, one of the fastest greens. Wow. One of the fast. They, they, ugh, those greens were so fast. Mm -hmm. So, again, Mackenzie Hughes, fast greens, great putter. Yeah, <laughs> definitely an advantage there. So yeah, the course we struggled. Uh, we struggled on the weekends to just shoot even, even back to back days and um, j hit the ball fairly well, drove it well, mm -hmm. which he struggled with in Napa, and then just the short game just wasn't wasn't clean enough. Mm -hmm. So uh, good enough to play four days, but not good enough to keep moving forward. But all good. We'll keep plugging away and go from there. Yeah, maybe a few more events uh, this fall coming up. Uh, the plans right now is to play Houston Sea Island. He's on a medical, okay. So uh, he has limited starts. So you want to, you know, work your way around him. Mm -hmm. So my next show in is Houston and Sea Island, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, that's well, that's perfect. I think he's from. Isn't he from Texas? He's Houston. From yeah. Houston. Yeah. There you go. There you so, go. Maybe that'll be it. I mean, hey. There's like what 60, 70 guys that would have rather made the cut than you know miss it. So yeah, um, rather be in your spot, right? <laughs> you you rather play four days. Yeah. Even so if it's lost, he'd rather play four days. Yeah. You know, hey, making money, making progress, we'll we'll take it forward. The the idea really is if you keep playing four days, mm -hmm. you're gonna figure it out a couple weekends a year. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just keep playing. It's when you're not playing four days, that's when it's tough. Yeah, making nothing. Well, I guess maybe the rules will change if pretty soon but you know you're generally feeling like you're making nothing and, oh, make, yeah. and heading nowhere with your game and right it's, it's a tough feeling but yeah so that was the sanderson farms once again mac with that second dub i'm I'm looking forward to to seeing i think he's got a few more in the near future oh for sure i'm, yeah. I'm excited so uh yeah look out for him put a little bet on him uh ladies and gentlemen out there you're big believers in mac speaking of betting uh, we're going to the land uh, where you can just bet everything and America's playground and, you know, yada, yada, Sin City. We're going to Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas. Of course, the first win of Mr. T-Dub uh, was here at the Las Vegas Invitation. S same course, too. TPC Sumlin, which is crazy enough. That's same. It's held, the test, it's held the test of time. Yeah, crazy. And I'm pretty sure they were playing there years before he won it. And that was 96, the year I was born. So... There you go. That's uh, it has held the test of time, as uh, Daryl said. Um, yeah, it's uh, it used to be a five day event uh, when Tiger won it. Now a four day. I think they changed it mid two thousand ish. Um, but yeah, what can you uh, tell us about uh, TPC Summerlin? It's uh seventy two hundred. It's usually a birdie fest. It, it it can be a birdie fest. The last time I was there, I caddied for Hunter Mayhan, which is which was in twenty twenty. Mm. And 
the the cut was seven under there. I, I mean, when we finished, we finished in the <laughs> we're in the morning way on Friday, and when we finished, I think five under was in, and we're like, okay, it should stay at five under, mm-hmm. and it just literally no wind moved moved to six, and we're like, okay, it'll stay at six, and then it moved to seven. Seven under cut is unreal, and we shot seven. So, uh, again, we were just like, when we finished, we were like, oh, auto in. Yeah. Uh, it never got to the point where we were like, it's going to get to eight because it was impossible, really, because we thought it was going to stay at five. Yeah. But when you finish, you're like, seven was a pretty comfy position. So imagine imagine the guys that finished at six. Yeah. So speaking of, again, ball strikers paradise can make a lot of birdies. The wind, the wind really and the firmness of the place is the mm-hmm. defense. So uh, it plays very firm. So if you're not hitting the fairways, then you can run out to desert or, you know, whatever it may be. So wind and firmness of the fairways is, is the defense. So uh, otherwise it's just birdie fest. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's crazy. Like I've been saying that they, they keep playing here. Uh, even though I guess they, they just like, Hey, it fits the narrative of Las Vegas birdie fest. Just go low, go, go for it all type of yeah. thing. Um, is the is the desert in play that much? Uh, other than being dry, like if you're not hitting the ball good, can you find the desert? Yes, you can. You can find the desert and the Pretty cactus good. for sure. Okay, yeah, for uh, sure. I would hope so. But you have to. It's still fairly friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fifty yards of room, probably. Of yeah, it's still yeah. fairly friendly. Um, they don't really grow up the rough that much. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. I don't. I don't have any details on the, the course setup this week, but typically on the times that I've been there, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, I mean they do have water, but I mean really, there's plenty of room to miss away from that water. Um, yeah. You know, so I mean, it's creates some electric moments. Uh, Bryson won here, I think, a few years ago, making a long putt. Uh, Smiley Kaufman, like you said, um, was it Jonathan Bird hole in one to win? I remember that. I yeah. remember that. When uh, Justin Timberlake was the, the host of it, yeah, Justin Timberlake Shriners Open, yeah, Shriners Children's Open. It, it's interesting. I mean, they've got for Las Vegas. It's interesting that it's a uh, kind of sponsored by Shriners Children's Hospital, which is, I mean, really cool. But it's just it, it's weird fitting, I guess, with Las Vegas. Um, though I don't know, maybe maybe it's perfect fitting. I'm not a Las Vegas uh, uh, resident, so maybe it is uh, fitting. But who knows? Um. Yeah, uh, I guess you're not gonna be doing the picks, right, Daryl? No picks, and 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 it's tough because I love this place. Mm-hmm. Uh, we needed a top ten this week to get in, um, based on Chris's number, so mm-hmm. we didn't get it done. So I'm definitely missing Las Vegas, but all good. <laughs> Las Vegas, yes, Viva Las Vegas. Uh, so I guess I'll be the one partaking in Sin City then. Uh, let's see, let's see, what do I got? So uh, CBS. Odds below for my DH dark horse. I got a second year guy, kind of kind of similar to the rise of uh, Sahith uh, the Gala that we've been talking about. Guy of name Chris Gatterup, mm. mm, young gun, young gun, very yeah. long, yeah. very long player. I guess he's he hits the ball very far, and I think he's on a sponsor exemption this week. Yeah, and. Uh, like, I mean, you saw your young tiger behind me. Uh, I mean, there's a place where you can get that first dub and get that career rolling. And uh, he's been, he's got a few top tens already early in his career. Yeah, there, there's some big talks about this kid. Love it. Yeah. And uh, I guess Vegas doesn't trust him. 130 to one. So how about them odds? Bet it Let's all in go. red, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Love it. Gun. gun. Uh, yeah. For my, uh, my contender pick. Uh, and my winner pick, by the way, it, it's a little bit uh, favoring some some international flavor. Uh, I'm really hoping the momentum of playing good in the uh, President's Cup is going to propel these guys. I'm going to go contender pick Cam Davis. Mm, Cam mm, Davis. Swagoo. The dude's a beast. I mean, uh, I could be a beast. Yeah, I think he's got it in him. Hasn't produced as much as I think he could, but. He's only 27. And he's still, you know, just got the President's Cup experience and he played good there. I mean, I'm liking it. I mean, can bomb it. 
can you know make some birdies why not caddy's a good friend of mine too so great there you go win win uh so yeah he's 40 to 1 so his odds are pretty good they they, they like him they're thinking like minded as me and uh similarly with the winner pick uh 22 to 1 young tom kim i'm doing mm -hmm. it i'm just going for it tom kim can't help myself daryl Ah oh, man, people are are you know hyping him up, and uh, you know I even compared him to Tiger after his Wyndham win. Of course, Tiger's first win is here. I mean, I just it's a place you can go low. He's a guy who can go low, on um, you know just coming off that Presidents Cup, and he's just you he know, can fired make up. And he can make a quad on the first hole and still win the tournament. There you go. I mean, exactly. He can go down in a in a match and come back. So I like it. I mean, why not? Uh, ride the wave. Let, let's go. TK. TK. Oh, <laughs> let's love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. He's uh, like I said, 22 to one. So odds are in his favor. I think he's want to say he's one of the favorites. Uh, so, hey, like minded people. Vegas is usually right on these things, people. So, you know, you got to believe me. Right. Especially when in Vegas. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay in Vegas after this week, okay? Because of all the debauchery that'll be going on. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, those are my picks. Uh, Patrick Cantlay uh, is is a favorite, He's six to one. Uh, Sung J M, defending champ, nine to one. Uh, I, I couldn't quite go to Gangnam Style. I think he might be too tired of, from the mm -hmm. dancing. But no, I, I'm sure Sung J is gonna put on a good defense. Max Homa's in the field. Yeah, a lot of good names. Uh, I was tempted to go with uh, Rio as well, coming off these these hot play since the summertime. So, yeah, it was a, it was tough to pick amongst these guys. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the Shriners Children's Open. Um, any any memories from uh, this uh, event, Daryl? That comes up to mind, maybe that you can share at least. <laughs> I remember. Oh, well, the last time I was I was there, um, caddy with Hunter. He, I think he finished like plus nine or plus ten oh, in man. strokes in putting. Oh, wow! Yeah, sure. So you know, having a hot putter is 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 huge there, and it, it also goes to show he was hitting a lot of greens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so, no, he, Hunter was kind of in his prime. Uh, yeah, a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, that that's that stands out to mind. Uh, it's normally. The first time I was there is you, as a new as a new like rookie basically mm -hmm. you get the bad tea times right mm -hmm. and you get like the end of the wave and yeah. so you'll always have to ha finish on the next morning because you'll never get to finish because of daylight wow because so, daylight savings is usually pushing up against it yeah and so you're always like having like you have like two holes left that you'll still have to come finish in the morning so that's um, I don't know if they gotten better at that or what what not but uh that's always been a thing that i remember that man uh coming back the year after not having to be in that like category of tea times yeah no i'm like hey you know even after we finish our round we can go practice we're not gonna have to go home and uh go back to our room and get a quick dinner we can yeah. still you know practice <laughs> and relax so that's a uh, from a caddy perspective that's always nice that's a, that's an interesting thing. I wonder why. I guess they just figured it's not going to rain. You know, we got enough time. We can we just yeah. push it through it. And uh, you know, it's Las Vegas too, so the city basically never sleeps. So, you know, hey, we'll just keep it going through the through the whole tournament like a marathon. Um, that's some cool memories, man. Um, you want to talk about uh old live, old live golf? Oh, what? Oh, actually, before what? Yeah, we yeah. will. It's funny because. Uh, one more thing. Yeah, I remember I was there with Mac one year. Speaking of our last week's winner, yeah. and uh, he overslept his alarm. Oh, and I think he got to the golf course. I was so panicky. I think he got to the golf course like 15 <laughs> minutes before his tee time. Maybe holy crap! Yeah, and uh, obviously hit three to five balls. Like the the warm up was, and I believe he shot like five under. Wow! I'd have to look. It was something. It was something crazy like that to where like. Well, wow, like you don't have to warm up, you know, an hour before. This is perfect, but yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I was, I was definitely in panic mode. Yeah, no, that's that's scary. Have you ever missed a, a tournament tee time, like caddy no. playing? Yeah, no, 
I, yeah. I've, I've been pretty good. I, I actually, yeah, I've been pretty good. I've been pretty lucky. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I haven't missed any. That's, that's surprising. And actually, you know, I've never withdrawn from a tournament either is another. Yeah. Fact. So those are just interesting, uh, interesting things in golf. You know, it's one of those, I, I definitely relate to it, like panicking to try to make it. Um, but you know, we usually make it. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, you want to talk a little live Bangkok, Thailand. Um, yeah, they're, they're playing at a kind of a newer course, fancy course called, let me see what it's called. Stonehill golf course out there in Bangkok. Um, you think Daryl, uh, you think the four, four aces and, uh, Cam Smith defending. Book it. Book four it. Aces, book it. Um, you know what? Like I was reading, I was reading that Fox might have a deal with live soon. Yep. That's something. Uh, it, you know what? I just like watching good golf. Like forget. I mean, who doesn't like watching Dustin swing a golf club? Right. And when you, what? I mean, I definitely like watching Joaquin hit a golf club. Mm -hmm. right? Like, so they have some talent there and, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to take a peek at it this weekend for sure. Just yes, to see yeah. what's going on and see how it is. And, Obviously, moving forward with Liv, I think they got to change some stuff with the format to make it at least uh, presentable for world ranking points. Mm -hmm. I think eventually they will. Uh, that's my two cents of, of it all. I think eventually they will. And you, you see some of the, I think even Rory said, like, you you can't not give world ranking points to guys who are playing elite golf. Like, Dustin's playing elite right now. Mm -hmm. Can't play elite right now. So you're going to say they're 200th in the world yeah you know I mean? and they're against elite players it's not like and it's just one on one you players, know so whatever the criteria is for them to get it or whatever they have to do to change that they need to do that and who knows how long it'll take but definitely excited for it this week how about how about you and your thoughts yeah. on Liv? no yeah um, i i agree yeah the fox thing is pretty pretty big for them if they can they you know getting a tv deal and everything so they get more eyeballs on them um yeah i mean how can you not award these these players points and uh you know they're, they're quality players still just because they're playing a little less golf and maybe against smaller competition in different courses they're still the quality players i mean they didn't just the game didn't just leave them five months uh, ago you know type of thing um but i do think right now just basing off the criteria that the world rankings generally lay out I don't think they're going to get it. And that's not like an opinion. I just don't think they fit the criteria. And so, yeah, they probably will need to make some changes. Uh, I'd like the current format. I have like no problem with it. Uh, but I guess if they want world ranking points, they might have to change it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I love watching it. I mean, I still enjoy watching Dustin play and uh, like Pat, Pat, Patrick Reed can still short game the hell out of the ball. So right. I still enjoy seeing all of that. Um, you know, I, as far as like guys who are, are probably going to contend this week, I mean, I saw Louis Ustazen play pretty well at the St. Andrews and the, the DP World Tour event. So I think yeah. I'm feeling international flavor. Like I said, maybe guys uh, motivated from missing uh, a chance at the President's Cup. Joaquin Neiman, I'm really feeling good about uh, this week. Uh, Cam Smith, I'm sure he's going to be up there, you know, defending champ from, from the last time they played. And I mean, the team wise, Four aces, man. I just don't. Until there's more depth on other teams, I just don't see how you know they're not going to be there at least in the top three. You know? Right. You know, top geez. three is the <laughs> that's their seat. I mean, that's their floor. Yeah. You know, like, come on. Right. You know, I I do like what I saw with the Australian team, Leishman and Smith, and then you know Matt Jones. they like that's a that's a pretty competent team. If they're playing decent, they they should be able right. to compete. So uh, I don't know. I I like the golf. I just don't like how it's so contentious and that it has to be so contentious, but you know, it is what it is. They're trying to defend their each, each side is trying to defend their, their point. Uh, but I think Louie said it best is like, yeah, you know, all of that's going to happen. They're going to, everyone's going to defend their point. The lawyers are going to talk, but eventually we're probably going to come together uh, sometime in the future. So, I mean, that's pretty much my thought. That's what's going to happen. So yeah, I'm just excited to, to see it's in Bangkok. So that's a new place that I generally don't watch golf at. So that's, that's going right. to be, so that's, that's, I mean, interesting to see that type of course, because uh, I hear really nice things about it. 
Um, but yeah, um, no new news on players. Mito Pereira is actually in that uh, Las Vegas field. So no new news on players uh, flipping or anything like that. Uh, any rumors in the Twitter sphere, Daryl, that you can hear? You have Honestly, to names. no, no. Honestly, to be honest with you, like even in the realm of PGA Tour, like the week of Napa and mm-hmm. and Jackson, it's been pretty silent. I think I think it's been pretty set. Yeah. For 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 the finish of this year, I think you might see a couple guys jump in like January. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I mean, I've, obviously, they keep harping on like guys like Adam Scott, who you know would almost be like an obvious choice for Liv to try to go after. But right, you know, yeah, there has has not been any news. It's been uh, pretty quiet. Yeah. Like I said, I think it's pretty set for the year. You know, with all the tournaments, because again, guys are behind the eight ball. The what team do you put them on? Right. Yeah. So I, I think if anything, it, it would make sense in January, the start of the new year, like four new guys, because mm-hmm. then they can make a team. Yeah. Let's reshuffle it up. So the four aces don't take every. <laughs> right. So uh, just, just by where it is, it's, it, it just doesn't make sense for anybody to kind of go anywhere. And it's a little bit quiet in the season as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yes, indeed. Uh, looking forward to it. We'll probably, it's an interesting team event to end the season. I guess we'll talk about it then. Uh, but that news came out of, as far as the format. Uh, lots of money on the line. As you know, it lived lots of money. Lots of dollar dollar bills up for grabs over there. And hey, we're in Vegas this week in the PJ Tour. So lots of dollar bills up for grab there as well. Uh, any last things, Daryl, before we close out? I mean, looking forward to... You know, watching this weekend, both live and PJ Tour, to be honest with you. I like I said, just a fan of golf. Uh, Niners won yesterday. Yeah. I'll, I'll be playing a lot of golf. I'm off for basically a month. Yeah. Uh, side hustling at Cypress, though, whenever whenever I'm mm-hmm. called upon. And playing golf on the side. So this, this month of October is not looking too bad. Yeah, nice kind of relaxing time. A little decompression time. Watch your yeah. Niners. Great win, by the way. Looking yeah. clean, looking sharp. They always own the Rams. So I was actually just about to bring that up. So happy. I, I knew not to contact you yesterday because I was like, oh, no, Daryl's on one with the Niners today. So oh, I had a couple I had a couple calls yesterday that I didn't <laughs> like um had a, I responded to after the game. I'm like, guys, I was uh, watching the Niner game. Like I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in, guys. You know it's my Niner time, you know. Like I even got home earlier just mm-hmm. so I can on I was supposed to land at five thirty. I landed at three thirty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, just so you can make sure you're ready for it. Yeah. So now, hey, I'm I'm happy for you, man, and uh, gonna be a nice little month to relax. And, uh, Perfect. Same, same over here. Gonna be playing some golf and just working and yeah, ready for that scramble. Yeah, enjoying it. You're gonna gonna have some beverages and hopefully hit some good shots. I hear uh twenty five thousand dollars on the line if you hit a hole in one on one of the holes. So that's awesome. Mm, let's do it. Yeah, they're like, I guess they didn't want to get a car. Uh, with the, all the the inventory being low, they're like, man, we just might as well just give them straight cash. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, so, cash is king. Can't yes, even be indeed. mad at that. Yeah, like I said, hey, cash is on the line this week, right? Yeah, let's go. Uh, so, audience members, you know what to do. Comment below whatever is your thoughts are. We'll try to respond if it's nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, like, subscribe. Comment below. Know your words mean something to us.